Z just solidified his spot at the top. You serious? We already knew he was a billionaire, but his most recent purchase is his most impressive one yet. Jay-Z is the first person to own a $340,000 Bugatti Tourbillon Hyperwatch. He was just spotted at Fanatics Fest in New York rocking the new piece of jewelry, and it did not go unnoticed. The watch was designed by Jacob the Jeweler, and he shared a video of Jay-Z wearing it to his Instagram. He captioned the post saying, My dear friend at Jay's was the first to own the five time zone watch. 25 years later, he's the first to own the Bugatti Tourbillon. He went on to describe the watch, saying it has a V16 engine block automation made from a single block of transparent sapphire, and that there will only be 150 pieces made. A watch that costs almost half a million dollars is not something many people could ever even fathom. Jay-Z has built an empire that extends far beyond just music, which has led him to billionaire status. Jay-Z has had a string of hit albums, sold millions of records, and won numerous awards, including Grammys. His music catalog alone is worth a fortune. But what really sets him apart is his business acumen. He's always been smart about using his success in music as a springboard into other ventures. I don't have anything to prove. I know who I am. I'm a very self-aware person. You know, so when you're self-aware, even when you're dealing with someone's ego, you, you, you know when to allow it to, you know, you allow their ego to, uh, live in its own space. One of Jay-Z's biggest moves was launching Rockefeller Records in the mid-90s, which helped him gain control over his music and start making serious money. Then there's Rockaware, his urban clothing line, which became hugely popular in the early 2000s. That started like, I, I, would, I would make records and I would talk about like various like clothing brands, you know, on the record. And then I, I start noticing like, like, you know, people would come to the shows wearing the clothes and things like that. And I know I was selling a lot of clothing for these companies. And I, w I would go to them like, we should work out a deal. I, I think I'm, a, I'm affecting your business a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you should work with me. Jay-Z eventually sold the rights to Rokaware for $204 million, adding a massive chunk to his wealth. Jay-Z didn't stop there. He co-founded Rock Nation, a full-service entertainment company that manages artists, athletes, and produces music and events. Rock Nation has grown into a powerhouse, representing big names in music and sports, and it's another big source of his wealth. He's also invested in a variety of other businesses. Jay-Z is a part owner of the streaming service Tidal, which he bought in 2015 and rebranded as a platform that pays artists better royalties. Everyone here is, you know, that term icons, but we've all at one point were in love with music. You can't make it to where we what we've accomplished without having that love of music be the foundation. I think it's one of the things that sets us aside from someone that's a tech company that's selling advertisement or selling hardware. Right now they're writing a story for us. We need to write the story for ourselves. He's also dipped into the world of sports, once holding a minority stake in the Brooklyn Nets, which helped the team move to Brooklyn. Jay-Z's alcohol ventures have also been incredibly lucrative. He owns a stake in Armand de Brignac, a luxury champagne brand, and Duce, a premium cognac. These ventures have significantly boosted his net worth, especially after selling a 50% stake in Armand de Brignac to LVMH, a luxury goods conglomerate, in 2021. All these business ventures and investments have made Jay-Z a billionaire, with his wealth estimated at over $2.5 billion. He's gone from being a kid from Brooklyn's Marcy Projects to becoming one of the richest and most influential figures in the world.